Gorlan, Gorlan, Gorlan. I'm calling this the Wild Nudes Collection. I did a video that went up on Monday. I'm going to try to have this video go up during the same week, uh, which is why I don't have any, like, jewelry or, uh, you know, particular pieces. I'm just wearing a t-shirt. It's hot. It's humid. It's stormy here in Boston. Um, but I do want to get this video up as quickly as possible because the Gorlan fall uh, collection went up way earlier than I thought it was going to. I picked these up um, about a month ago overseas and my understanding is it was not going to come to the U.S. until at least July, um, probably August, but <laughs> it's the end of June and now it's here. So uh, I again apologize for the no jewelry and uh, you know kind of dress down attire here, but I wanted to get this done and um, I don't think it's going to matter that much. <laughs> so you can see the wild nudes. So I did the uh, Undress Brown eyeshadow palette to, uh, and I look with it. Today I'm going to do the wild nudes. And the name of the collection, I don't think it is technically wild nudes, um, but I'm calling it that because they are quote nude shades and uh, I don't know, fall just doesn't seem right since only, well, first of all, we're not even in fall. And if this collection is supposedly for, you know, August, September, October time frame, that's only fall in the Northern Hemisphere. So I was just like, okay. Um, so I'm gonna swatch it for you really quickly so you know what's on my lips. This is the 15, this is the satin shade. It is a beautiful deep brown pink. I feel like I have a Chanel lipstick, like this exact same color the nudes that came out last year, the, the satin. I cannot remember exactly what the number is, but I'm gonna be in search for it um, so that I can uh, so that I can see um, <laughs> what I have like it. I know I have, I know I have shades like it. I just off the top of my head can't think of the numbers or the names. So, but it's a beautiful, I'd say medium pinky brown. Uh, it's gonna work on a lot of folks. Uh, and then, on my cheeks, uh, I have the Armani 11 blush. This is the In, I think it's In Love. I have the 10, I don't have it yet. Hopefully my video where I do my birthday haul, I bought a number of things, I will be able to film and have up um, July 1st, hopefully. Fingers crossed, I don't know if it'll actually happen if I get the box in time, but we'll try. Things have been very delayed box-wise. Uh, all right, so let me swatch this for you. And then I will have a best and worst of um, spring and summer video coming soon. Some new makeup, a whole bunch of good stuff. So these three are to me, mattes. And then the last one is a satin. So I think this is more of a subdued look, a um, more matte, heavy look. This is the only one that's satin, but this one's matte, this one's matte, this one's matte. I have a feeling that these two shades are gonna blend, but let's try it. Let's try it out. Pulling the hair back so you can see this a little bit better. And again, I'm using my Sonia G Sky brushes because I just feel like I use those for the other look, so why not? Um, so let's take, let's just start with this sort of peep the the pinker, the pinkier matte shade, which I think is gonna be similar to my skin tone. Yes, it is. Um, it's a shade or two deeper than my skin tone and a little pinker, but you know, it has very similar undertones. And I think this would make a really good base for me if I wanted to like deepen a look a little but I didn't want something like super deep or super brown. Um, it's a very pretty shade. It's going on really well. Couple things I did not mention in my first video. Um, there's no scent, or at least I don't discern a scent. Um, I will say that sometimes I don't like pick up on a scent because my allergies get so bad but I really don't smell anything here like at all. Uh, and like the Gucci bronzer, for example, is like that has a very strong scent. I smell that. So, but I smell, I smell nothing. Um, and a couple of you asked me about formula. Um, the box, unfortunately, and the um, 
packaging is in a language I cannot read. I apologize. Uh, I did, like I said, I got this overseas, so I can't read what the box says. Um, but let me just look at the website really quickly because some, some folks asked questions about like the pans, if they looked silver, um, if it was like more of a powdery formula. Um, I do see silver pans, but I don't know what that means. Okay, let's see. Talc-free texture made up of intense pigments for long-lasting color, offering unparalleled depth. Satin, matte, metallic, and radiant pearl. I think in this one it's matte and satins. That's what I would say. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's in the same grouping yeah, as all the other ones. So I don't think the formula is any different. I mean, they don't say that it's any different. It does say it's self free though. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to take the browner shade here. I'm just going to intensify the crease. That's all I'm doing with that shade. Because I think and I mean, the more I play around with them, the more I'll be able to tell you. But I really think those two shades are going to blend into each other because on the eye, I mean, one is definitely warmer, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, a drastic difference. It just doesn't, you know, it, it's shades that are similar like that when you, unless you're like being very specific about where you put them or use primer helps um, or like a glitter glue or something, you're going to get um, some blending. All right, now I'm going to take that that pinkier shade that I started with, I'm just putting it on a very fluffy brush and using it very lightly in the brow area. And then I'll just kind of blend it like a little bit into the shade below, just so I have a little bit on the brow, but I want to keep it very light. Okay, so far, so good. Um, all right, now the satiny shade, I don't want to use the satin shade all over the eye because I feel like that would be like a deep look for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it on the outer half of the eye, and then I'm gonna use the lighter shade on the inner half, and then we'll deepen up the out with the deeper brown. Now I think, yeah, this is a beautiful shade. It, this, this, I think it's a satin, it looks like a satin to me. Um, it's a beautiful shade, but it is deep, so I think you know, if you if you put this on your entire eye, it's not that it's not going to be beautiful. It, it will be. But um, what I would say is, depending on the shape of your eye, it can be like a heavy look. If you put it all over the eye, it might close the eye up a little bit. Just remember that deeper shades, you know, kind of set things back. Um, so if you put it over your entire eye and your eyes are already deep set or close together and you don't like that, um, this color will kind of deepen that look. Again, it's not a bad thing, it just be aware of like what's flattering on you. For me, uh, for my eye shape and my face shape, it, my uh, the way my eyes are, it's a little bit more flattering if I take a lighter shade and kind of put that in the like first inner corner, kind of first half of the eye. I don't have to, I can use a deep shade all over the eye. I just don't think it's as flattering on me. Okay, so you can see that even though it's a lighter shade, it's still deep. There's not really a light shade in here that you can use. I'm just blending in the middle. There really isn't a light shade in here to lighten this look. So you're gonna get kind of a, a deeper brown, pinky brown look, um, unless you take a light shade from another quad, quint, whatever, and lighten it up. Um, like even the pink here, the pinkier shade, it's not a light shade. So if I like put it here, it lightens it a little, but honestly, it's about the same intensity as the browner shade that I put on the first half of the eye. So I don't think, I don't think that really does anything. The satin shade, again, I'm just gonna build it a little here, is very pretty. It's just that it is deep. So you're not going to get like a sparkly or, you know, light, a uh, lightness to the look. It's going to be more of that matte, deeper look, which I think is very pretty. It's like, I like, I like looks like this. 
it just won't, you know, just be aware you're not going to suddenly have something that is going to lighten up in the middle of the eye or in the inner corner of the eye or the brown bone. All right, so now I'm going to take the brown mat and I'm just going to put it out here on the edge, just like that to deepen it and almost create like a little bit of a V, little wing almost, very little one though. And then we'll take it and run it along the lash line as soon as I can find my brush. Actually, I'm going to take the satin shade and do that so it's not as deep. All right, let me put on some mascara. Back with uh, some mascara on. So I really love this look, but it is very much a, um, a mid-toned, neutral. I think it does lean. I think it's neutral because the pinkier shade in here is definitely cooler. And so that shade, the shade here definitely makes it cooler. And I don't think this shade is warm. I think this is very neutral. So I think this does, this is a neutral quint uh, quad. But the thing I would say is you have to like a matte look because the satin that's in here is a beautiful satin, but it's a deep shade. And so, you know, even if I didn't use the mattes and I just put this all over the eye, it still would be a satiny deep shade. It wouldn't be like, there's no, there's no contrast. There's not a lightness to it. Now, don't get me wrong. That's okay. Like, I'm just going to blend this a little bit so you can see what I mean. Um, that is a, that's a look. Like, this is a, this was done, my, I, my guess, uh, this was done intentionally to get this kind of, um, velvety, mattish, deep, sultry look. And I like it very much. I don't have any bronzer on today, so my face does look quite a bit pale compared to the eye look. Um, I would probably put some bronzer on, but I wanted you to see the, you know, the, the look compared to just like my skin, which is pale, and the, the lip. I think it's a very distinct look. It reminds me of the 90s. That's what it does. It has this 90s, like, matte lip, um, brownie pink, which was like all the rage on the lips, uh, and like choker. Like that's what I get from it. I very much like that. And I actually think the look is very pretty. I also think it's very wearable and I think a lot of people will like it. But if you're one of those people who likes to have a, um, a light, um, either like a white shade or a gold shade or a shimmery shade in the eye looks that you do, if you would never ever buy an all matte palette or an all velvet palette. I don't think you'll like this one because even the satin in here, you can see it's not shimmery. It's satiny, but it's not shimmery. So it gives you this sort of muted, I get sort of like a suede. That's kind of how I, like it's suede, like a suede sweater, <laughs> like a, like a suede um, leather chair, you know, that kind of look, um, which I love and I think it looks beautiful, but it's a distinct look. It will definitely be a good accent shade, uh, like a, a nice color story for people who have blue eyes or green eyes. I think it would work on any color um, eyes. All eyes, all eyes are beautiful. But because this is a contrasting shade and it's sort of deep and rich, it will make blue eyes, green eyes pop. So just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, I really like it. Compared to the, to the, um, the uh, undress brown, the undress brown is much warmer, much more orange. This is definitely more of a neutral. And again, this has that muted, suede kind of look, whereas the other one had more shimmer to it. So I wouldn't say I like one more than the other. I just think they're very different types of quads. And actually, I like that because I was afraid that since they were both neutrals, it was going to be very boring. Um, I have my... Will I buy it probably going up after this video? And I talk about how like everything is neutral and how I'm really kind of bored by it. And again, I get it. I get that it works for a lot of people and that people love neutrals. I, I am not arguing that. It's just as somebody who reviews a lot of makeup, you just after a while you're like, yes, I've seen that color story before. But the flip side is it works for a lot of folks. And I will say Guerlain did a really good job, in my opinion, with the formula. And I think it's quite beautiful. So if you have any questions, um, please put them down below. One thing I do want to mention is I didn't have prices 
when I did my video, because again, I got them overseas. So um, they are $85 for the eyeshadows. And again, there are two eyeshadows, or at least that's what I see on the Guerlain site. Um, the cases are $26. And then the velvet matte lipsticks are $36. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So the cases are 26. The, the uh, shades are 36 for the velvet. Satin is also 36. And also I notice on the website. So it says the nude ones, they have the rosewood, which I showed you in the last video, berry brown, which is also the nude. And then when I said, remember that I thought there was another one, but I didn't see it on the site and I wasn't sure what it was. It's under the exotics, it's not under the nudes, and it's rosy nude. So there is another one that technically, like, is the nudes, but it's under the exotics. And I'll put up a picture of that one if I can. The website is not cooperating with me at the moment. But anyway, <laughs> um, so there is another nude case. And as I said in my video, there are different shades of um, the velvets and satins. I didn't pick up the deepest satin and I didn't pick up the deepest um, velvet uh, shades because I think they're too deep for me because my skin is so pale that I generally don't wear that deep of a lip, but they are available and I do have the pictures up um, of those in the other website, in the other website, in the other video. So yes, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I am going to compare these things. I am going to compare these to other uh, Quinn squads, all that good stuff, but I wanted to get the videos up as soon as possible because Gorlan has a way of like putting these things up and then they disappear. Like they're gone, 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 like the denim collection. And then it did come up eventually at Harrods and I think Selfridges, but it took a long time. So I didn't want to wait <laughs> and like swatch everything and then not have the video up. So let me know what you want to compare it to. I will have that um, as soon as I can. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.